All right, here we go, man. Pop Funk Collection. So I bought these a while ago at Comic Con. Now, before we even start off, I don't know why these things are so expensive to begin with. They range anywhere from 10 to like 150 bucks for a, I don't know what they even are, bro. I, I haven't done my research. I didn't even bother doing any research because I thought, you know what? I was at Comic Con. I was like, oh, my brother and cousin, they got like 10, 15, 20 of them, you know, on their desks and stuff like that. So I thought, oh, let me see if there's, you know, something in between for me, not knowing that some of these are worth quite a bit of money. So as you can see, we've got the Frosty Giant Loki. This one came in the surprise box that I bought. You've got the Wally with the fire extinguisher and you've got the Eve. I just thought Eve and Wally, super cute. You know, if you've ever watched Wally, man, if you've never watched it, shame on you. You did not have a childhood. So interesting thing about this one is you've got Captain Carter, you've got the Infinity Killmonger, you've got Gamora, you've got Queen General, you've got Frost Giant Loki and Infinity Ultron. Collect them all. Now, the thing was about the Wally one, this one was very difficult to find. My cousin had actually just pretty much snatched it away from me because I was thinking when I was standing at the stand, ooh, there's an Eve and a Wally. Maybe I'll get it. Like, give me two minutes. And then when I wanted to grab it, it was like, oh, my cousin already got it. So we went through the entire Comic Con, couldn't find it. So I asked him, like, listen, can I trade a different one for the Wally one? Yeah, sure, bro, no problem. So I was very fortunate with that one. So with the Wally one, you've got the Wally with the fire extinguisher, which is this one. You've got Eve. Yeah, here you go. You've got Mo, which is the cleaning thing on the ship, and you've got Wally Jumbo. This is what it looks like. But these are four of these, and oh, it's the same pretty much. It's just Eve in the box. I haven't taken them out yet, so I honestly um, don't know if they're going to be heavy, but let's unbox them. I gotta say, I find the packaging really, really unique and actually quite nice. So you know what? We're going to start off with this one. Frost Giant Loki. Yeah, it's pretty dope. It, honestly, the packaging is awesome. Now, some people would say, oh, no, don't take it out the box. Why not? These ain't worth anything, man. I bought them to find and see what they're like. So, I don't know what's in the box. Oh, it's literally just a giant fucking ass Loki. Really? That's it? Well, I mean, it does say on the package it's just a Loki. Like, the packaging is awesome, which is really cool. Now, you've got some collectibles, which, when I was at Comic-Con as well, they had, like, super exclusive ones wrapped in bubble wrap with, like, a glass container. They were also, like, the most expensive one, like, 150, 200. Don't be messed up, bro. So, how do we get this out? Oh, wow. Oh. Okay, I didn't expect that. So, we've got, like, where you can stand on. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Oh, what? Oh, my God. What the fuck? Huh? He can twerk? Okay, I didn't expect that. I thought it was just going to be one of those things that stands up. Oh, it smells awesome. Oh, wow. Oh, that smells good. Look at the details. Sorry, I have a bit of a, I guess you could say fetish. Uh, like, like books and paper, I like sniffing it. It gets me excited in a way, but it's also the smell of just paper and plastic. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Really dope. The design is nice. He does have a bit of damage, I see. Or maybe he's supposed to look that retarded. Is that normal? I don't know. But the details is quite cool, actually. It's not the strongest quality that there is in the world, but yet again, it's 15 bucks. Who gives a shit, honestly? I wonder if they, like, paint these things or if they, like, 3D print them. I honestly don't know. Probably the last one. So how does it stand? Oh, there you go. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Could you imagine having this on the dashboard of your car and it's just fucking bubbly, like a bubble head, right? Isn't that what they call it? Quality is decent. I mean, it's 15 bucks. I think 15 bucks is pretty expensive still. I think the reason why it's so expensive is because it's licensed product It's Marvel. And um, it's also got Disney. But it's also like, I'm going to I'm gonna take a wild guess. It's highly likely 3D printed. This must be 3D printed. Pretty good quality. I got to say, it kind of looks like Hulk from the bottom. Pretty cool. I like this one. Um, am I going to keep it in the box? Probably. So let's put this one back and let's uh, unbox the other two. I'm actually really excited for the Wally one. Like I said, I grew up watching Wally and it's definitely a, um, a very sad movie, but it also progresses in something really positive, which is really nice. Wally comes in and then Eve 
happens to one day come to earth to try and grow life with a plant it, the story is really interesting you've got to watch it so yeah we got, we got wally now i've got high hopes for wally because his details from the outside of the box look pretty pretty good and lovely so let's see what he is going to be like packaging is really basic and easy i gotta say i really do like that it's not over exaggerated plastic and shit it's just basic it's what you want right how do i take this one down that's a good question Okay, so he like won't come out for some reason. Oh, his is different. Oh, you gotta open it from the top. Oh. Yo, he's tiny. What the fuck? He's small. Oh, hell no. He's massive. God damn. He's, dude, he's big. Wow. <laughs> that is fucking awesome. Look at the design, man. The f Dude, how do you think of stuff like this? And look at the detail. That's incredible like how do they obviously they 3d print this but look at the the design the detail like look at it close up isn't he adorable man now you've got the wally jumbo one i'm gonna assume that's like the big one i might actually buy the moa and the wally jumbo just to like collect all four of them and put them on like my my window like i don't know it would look pretty cool look at his eyes the I, wow dude i'm honestly so surprised at how good his details are like better than the Loki one. Like Loki, not even kidding. He looks so dope, man. Disney 2021. So pretty much what these are like, these are collectibles, like I mentioned. Um, some of them are worth a lot of money. They range anywhere from like 10 to 200 euro I've seen at Comic-Con. At Comic-Con, you had everything. You got the Pokemon cards. It's really a, a place where people gather and just be, be themselves, you know? And also people trade. now. Can he come off? No, he cannot come off. So the design is really cool. Like so, so unique and so awesome how they thought of it. I like this design a lot. And he stands much easier as well than Loki. Loki one is like shit design with the standing. Yeah, this one's dope. Honestly, this might be my favorite one. I don't know how the Eve one is going to work. Let's see. Let's unbox it straight away. What a great movie. Like I said, if you've never watched Wally, I feel bad for you, man. What a great movie. Wow, the design is awesome. I do, however, notice that some of the designs, they've got like, I don't know, hidden details or something. Damn. So she's quite basic. Like, I look at it now, like, okay, the details are like incredible yet again. Wow. This is my first time unboxing them as well. So this is the first time getting them out of the package. I love that they made that design. It's like a spiral tornado. But she doesn't bunk. Okay, so that's interesting. So Loki is like a is like a head bob thing, right? That you put on the dashboard of your car, right? He's the one that jiggles. Now Wally is also a standing, is a figurine pretty much at the end of the day, right? And so is she. She stands super duper easy because she's like literally centerpiece. You know what? I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna keep them in their boxes out, outside of this video. I think they look like, I don't know why, what it is, but they look nicer in the box and outside the box. I, I mean, can you disagree with me or agree with me, right? They look, I don't know, for some reason, aesthetic, they look better, right, in the box. But yet again, you've got the design and, and it's really a nice, nice design. Eve, how did they think of a fucking robot like her, honestly? I don't know, but they've designed a really cool. Can you rip her head? Oh no, you cannot rip her head off. Jesus, could you imagine breaking the entire thing? That'd be a waste. So this was the third one. I would probably say, yeah, no, without a doubt. If I had to choose between these three, okay. Personally, Wally is number one for me because he's been my favorite always since the start. I like Loki a lot because of the bubble effect, but I'm gonna have to give Eve second place because they're like a couple, man. These two are like a couple, you know what I mean? And he's unique in his own way because he's like a bobblehead. I, I grew up with the bobblehead as well. So that's really cool. I gotta say, yet again, they look 10 times better inside the box. For aesthetics purposes, you cannot disagree, right? They look way better. This was my unboxing of these pop punks. I'm gonna be very honest. I think I'm gonna get the Mo and the Wally Jumbo. I'll probably have to order them online, but I think why not just make the collection complete? Hope you enjoyed it, man.
Thank you so much for watching. I really felt like a geek explaining these things. Yet again, I just bought them because I like them. I didn't buy them. Oh man, they might be worth money later. No, I just bought them because I was like, all right, they look cool. That's all. Thank you.